Okay, welcome back, and I'm not sure how many of you actually know this, but one of my personal favorite add-ons for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and 2024 is actually coming to X-Plane 11 and X-Plane 12. And I'm actually sitting here in X-Plane 12 in the Citation 525 at Princess Juliana Airport. Um, on VATSIM, actually, and this is a quick look at the TDS GTNXI for X Plane 12. Look at that massive jet. Oh my god, we're so little compared to them. Anyways, we're getting distracted. So let's hop on. Um, I'm just gonna get my aircraft powered on really quickly. I'm gonna go to avionics, switch that to on. We're in the Torque Sim Citation 1, CJ1. Uh, the C-525, so we'll go ahead and jump into, so in this particular aircraft, it has a built-in virtual GTN 750 in the cockpit. It has dual, matter of fact, which is pretty cool. Um, and there's various planes that are actually supported in X-Plane 12 at release. So it has full virtual cockpit integration with the Torx Sim Citation Jet 525, the Aerobass DA-20, Aerobass Viper Jet EX, the Jetstream Seminole, and Seneca 2. But of course, there'll be many other um, aircraft with the full cockpit integration coming soon, as it says here. I'll leave this page in the description if you want to dig deep into the features, but there are a lot of features in this GPS system, and I do highly recommend it for anybody flying GA on X-Plane or Microsoft Flight Sim. But for now, I'm going to show you some basic practical use. I have a flight prepared. I'm actually in Princess Juliana Airport. We're headed to uh, Puerto Rico today. So we'll go ahead and set up our flight plan. Uh, we'll go to flight plan here, and you can see it already has Princess Juliana pre-selected for us. I'm going to click on Princess Juliana because we do have a departure today. I'm going to click on load procedure and then we go to departure and then I am doing the BOPAT 2 departure via juice. We'll click on juice and we'll hit load runway, which is going to be runway 10 and load departure and we're good. We'll then scroll down again, a very basic flight plan. I'm actually going to click on juice and we're going to load an airway. We'll click on airway and there's only one airway uh, possible from this waypoint. So it's giving us all the exit points and we'll be exiting at the uh, Boricua uh, VOR. We'll hit load and then we're going straight in to Aguadilla Airport, which is a uh, Tango Juliet Bravo Quebec. There we go. And then I'm going to click on our arrival airport and we'll go to load procedure one more time and we'll go ahead and load in our approach. We'll click on approach and I'm actually expecting to fly the VOR uh, runway 8 approach into Aguadilla. So we'll click on VOR DME runway 8 and we will actually have a transition. So I'm going to click on transition and we'll click on that Bravo Quebec November and we'll hit load approach. Now we can actually also hit the chart and you can actually see and load your charts right into the uh, GTN 750. Now what I'm actually gonna do, I'm actually gonna load these charts on our other screen so I can actually see them side by side. But if you only had one, you know, GPS loaded in the plane, this is the one you use here. So hit load, load approach, hit okay, and we are good to go. You also notice we also have our altitude set in here so you can use the VNAV guidance as well if needed which you can use under utilities and VNAV. If you're familiar with the GTN 750, everything you expect it to have, it's gonna have. All right, we're good to go there. We'll click on the map and then we can zoom it out. We can see our entire flight plan with all the airspaces and stuff like that. There we go, and that's where we are. We're in the Princess Juliana area and we're headed to Puerto Rico. All right, so I got my uh, airport information up on the right hand side i got our info here we've got our preview of the airport near field we have our procedures we can see here we can go to our runaways with runaway information we have our frequencies in here you can actually dial these in so i can dial up the atis uh, which actually would be a good idea uh, to get the atis right now find out what that is out here we have our weather data here which actually brings in uh, the weather information for the current airport which is pretty darn cool uh, no Thames, which is not available and then we have nearest uh, VRPs, which I believe is a uh, visual reference points, which is actually pretty cool. I actually never noticed that before. I see three zero zero five. Expect visual approach runway one zero. Three seventy four. Very good. Seventy four. Stand one out seventy three zero zero five. Expect visual runway one zero approach. Three zero zero five. One zero seventy four. Control 
365, roger, cancel approach coordinates, turn left, heading 340 degrees and maintain uh, 3,000 feet. I'm sorry, you said you're going to make it? Alright, we're good, 1265, roger, sure, if it's wind, uh, 100 degrees, 13 knots, quite a land, rolling 10. Zero direct use citation one one six bro. So we're airborne now, and one of the features I really like in the GTN 750 is the fuel planning page, and on here you can actually see how much fuel we're going to have at our destination, what our fuel efficiency is, what our range is, what our the fuel required is to get to where we need to go. You can even change these waypoints, so maybe you just want to uh, see how much fuel you burn between point A and point B. Uh, you can actually do that here, and it bases it on your aircraft and based on your actual fuel burn. Okay, and it is a short flight, and on the VNAV uh, profile planning page, I'm actually going to change it to a, uh, a nice, easy 1,500 feet per minute. And that's going to then calculate our top of descent at being about a minute and a half away from where we currently are. Uh, so we've already been cleared down 24,000 feet by ATC, which I'll do, but this is basically our bottom altitude of 23,000 feet at target uh, based on our actual flight plan. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, we are well into our descent, and we're passing about 11,000 feet. Uh, we do have ATC, and uh, they're currently uh, clearing us down for the visual approach, but what I was actually expecting was the VOR. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on our flight plan here, and we'll go to the actual approach, and we can go ahead and activate that activate approach right there. And actually draw in our approach. I'm going to keep our heading in uh, just to make sure the aircraft doesn't turn, so it's good. It's on heading. Uh, but our approach is now activated. You can actually also see that there's an overlay. Uh, I'm not sure if I can... I think I can pan over there. Yeah, so if I click here, I can actually kind of go like this. We can pan in and actually see the chart overlaid onto our map, which is a really, really nice feature. But you can see we have the VOR approach uh, dotted right there. But we're probably not going to end up doing that for this flight um, because we do have ATC. There's not a lot of traffic in the area. And I think he's just going to probably give us vectors for the visual approach, which is just fine as well. That'll be a nice shortcut. All right, full flaps are down. Three green indicated with clearance received. You can see we have our normal map on the left screen now and the terrain radar on the right. Obviously, I can see out the window just fine, so don't really need it, but I don't want to show it off. But here we go. We're a little bit high. I think I hear traffic. 500. And we're down. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Aguadilla. And uh, if you like to see Citation 16 Bravo, welcome to beautiful Aguadilla, Puerto Rico. Left turn, one able, and alpha to the ramp, can I? Left one able, and uh, alpha to the ramp. Citation 16 Bravo, thanks for the ATC, man. No problem, man. Uh, have a good one. Uh, thanks for flying. And we'll go ahead and exit out the runway, but welcome to Aguadilla. And uh, if you like what you see, check out the GTN 750 by TDS on either X Plane or Microsoft Flight Sim. The link is in the description. And uh, again, 
definitely highly recommend it. I really do want to use this all the time. You'll see me use them in my streams anytime I fly PA. Until next time, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, good all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I will see you guys next time, next video. I'm out.